let me introduce y'all to this YouTube family Showing us the way to get out of debt gradually My man Josh, he's the king of the household Wife Christine putting debt in the chokehold and the kids, they are Grace and Zoe All four together live a life so holy That kicking Sunday, they leave vlogging Dave Ramsey plan gonna have us live large And every day we'll see part of their lifestyle How they budget and they keep things wrote down See them work through the envelope system Credit card goals and the money goes with them You will see how the family strives Cutting debt like a life and still have a life, huh? Lady Vaughn show us how to have fun When you hear this song, let me hear you say That is dumb That is dumb, that is dumb, that is dumb Let me hear you say it louder <sighs> Let's do it Welcome to Debt Kick and Send It Yeah <laughs> And the crowd goes wild We really need like a soundboard where we can that would be dangerous. Yeah, would. We would have a lot of fun with that. I have okay. a 12-minute intro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another question we have from you is... I'm in the process of watching all of your videos because I recently found you. Welcome. So I'm not sure if these questions have been answered. That's quite okay. We don't mind. More than likely. It's all right. I just always, let's see, we're, sorry. If someone is just starting baby step two, so the snowball is only at maybe $100 a month, and an unexpected expense comes up that will cost more than the hundred than the $1,000 emergency fund, what do you do? For example, my dog recently needed a $2,100 surgery, and I had to fund it with a credit card. I haven't started baby step one yet, but I'm on it. Hope you like the dog. Oh. Ouch. Good golly. Ouchie, mom. Okay. It is stories like yours is why we don't own pets. Nothing against you, but we can't afford that. We, duh. It, that, We yeah. had pets growing up till we were like 18. We saw them come, we saw them go. Yeah. And how much they cost. We saw them have cancer. We saw them and get so hit. We, yeah. We are pet loving people, believe me. We've, like I said, we've grown up with them, but we just, they don't fit in our budget right now. No. Because they do. Things like this happen. They cost a lot during the month, food wise and whatnot, and so they just don't, they just don't, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work for us. Okay. What kills me about this is I hope your dog is okay first, but. Second is you had to put it on a credit card. Oh, go! Like, there's not even an alternative. I mean, Grant, your interest rate is going to be so high, but there's not... I mean, you just have to have the cash or you can't afford it. I mean, this is tough love, sweetie. And we needed to hear things like this when we were going through it. But if we didn't have the money, it didn't get done. When we were when we were first starting out, when we're starting, we're now we're five years in, and we're still. If we don't have the money, it doesn't get done. Um, I don't even know how to answer that. I mean, it's like I, know. Uh, I mean, could you have maybe negotiated with the vet or somebody cost wise? I, I just, like a health care bill. Yeah, I I don't know. <sighs> I mean, I understand what you're saying. Even if you had a thousand dollar emergency fund and a, and a huge huge expense come up like that, I guess you just have to assess every incident that it comes up and, and see mm -hmm. what it is, I guess, you know, and it's different if it's a car or a difference. I mean, cause if you had to go to a couple pay periods, taking the bus or getting a ride from somebody, get more money, you could, but I mean, this is a different, I mean, it's your dog, you know, I mean, that's a, I don't know how often something like this is ever going to come up. Right. And maybe you need a bigger emergency fund than a thousand dollars just in case. That's how we learn to up ours. Ours is healthcare that we have issues with, deductibles, things yeah. like that. We just need a bigger emergency fund. Um, okay, you start baby step one and build a, a maybe a larger, I, I don't know sister what to tell you, but maybe build a larger emergency fund. <sighs> Good luck with Ouch. that one. Okay, she asked another question. Oh, hmm. Um, how do you account for toiletries? I've always been a budgeter, but I have never budgeted for those things. I just always made sure there was extra money for whatever. But I would really like to be at a point where every dollar has a name. Good girl. 
Uh, how do you account for things when you don't know exactly how long it will be before you need more? For example, toilet paper, shampoo, etc. Thank you. Okay. Side note, this is what we do. All my messy glory. We uh, we go grocery shopping every two weeks. Grocery shopping? Grocery, grocery, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> food. We go buy food every two weeks. We like to eat. We have it broke down by category. It's, I hope this answers your question. We budget, what was it, toiletries? Yeah. Toiletries, Toilet everything. Paper. Everything, everything household-wise goes on here. Shampoo. Shampoo, toothpaste, whatever. So if we have whatever, 250 bucks to go grocery shopping with, all your food and your toiletries have to be on there for 250 bucks. So that means maybe you don't buy one bag of Doritos that you right. wanted to buy or something. You have to make it fit. Yeah. But we've been doing this long enough that we have a spreadsheet as seen in diagram A here and the cost of everything. So actually we we say, okay, we've got, I'm just throwing a number, I don't know what it is. Say it's 250 bucks. We write down 250 bucks on paper before we even go. That tells us what our dinners are going to look like, tells us what toiletries we're going to buy or whatever. And then we go and buy it. We and know what we're spending before we even leave the house. Yeah. And it's less um, to, have to have a toiletry envelope. It just saves us from having to have that envelope. It simplifies. Because not always am I going to need a $20 bottle of Tide at Costco. So I'll be able to buy an extra package of chicken or something instead. So we've got it down really, really well. You're right. How but, we take one off and add the other one. But see, I don't know how it works for you. You know, we're a four family. Four. Soon to be five. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we buy the Costco toilet paper. We buy the Costco paper towels. We buy the Costco tub of soup. Or not tub of soup, but tub of detergent. So, um... Yeah. You buy a lot at one time, and we know when we're running out, and we know when we need to add it to our list. We, right. Like she said, we don't buy it every time. But if you're a single person, you might not go through a lot of it right. at one time. You know, I don't know. Everyone's yeah. a little different. But what it breaks down to is we add it to our grocery shopping list, and we, we fit it in. So that means, like I said, that means one thing gets cut out for something else to come in. Right. So hopefully that answers your question. And buying in bulk simplifies our life a whole lot, and that's how we do it. Um... Okay, next question. What do you allow for your cash or blow money weekly and monthly? I currently budget $40 a week, but I'm going to try for $25. It's just my two-year-old and myself while my hubby is working, so we use this money for fast food, Starbucks, or anything we just want while we're out and about. It's perfect. We do it on $25 a week, too. I, we have it set up to where... She gets $25 a week, so $100 a month. I have it set up to where I get $60 a month, so $30 every pay period. But I am choosing to sink fund a item that I am looking to purchase, so I don't ever spend my weekly money. I just roll it into an envelope. So in a year and a half, I can go buy it. Yeah, and and it's he's not deprived, guys. No. Like, I ask him all the time, is there any expenses that come up that you would like money for? Because I'm more than happy to work that into our budget. He just doesn't want it. There for a long time, I didn't even want to... I mean, I didn't want to pay myself because I go to work every day. I don't need money because I don't... I'm at work all day. I'm not out spending money. He doesn't drink coffee. I'm not drink coffees. I'm not going to lunch or pack my lunch order. But she's different. She's running the kids around. She's doing this. She's doing that. She's going to be out. There might be a lunch here that needs to be bought or breakfast or something. So, of course, she needs a little money. So... Yeah. It just works. Yeah. So try it. Cut your forty dollars down to twenty five. Just but you and your two year old, you can do. That. Exactly. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. I mean, obviously, at the end of the week, if you still have fifty bucks left in your wallet, maybe you, maybe you need to tone it down a little bit. You know, or by Tuesday, you're out of money. Maybe you ought to up it a little bit. Yeah. But that blow money is important. You need it. I mean, you you there's you just need it. Otherwise, it's going to get absorbed into some other part of your budget and start throw you off completely. Yep. So we learned the hard way. You've got to have a weekly blow money, fun money, whatever you want to call it. Okay, first off, thank you for the Deck Again Sunday videos. My wife and I enjoy them. Well, we enjoy you guys. Thank you. Question. We do well at sticking to a grocery budget. It's hard, but we do. Recently, we were invited to a family potluck, and our grocery envelope only has a few dollars in it. Do you take a little from another can category, Rob Peter to pay Paul kind of situation? How would we handle this? You want me to answer or you want me to answer? That's an excellent question, by the way. Go. 
this is how I would answer it. Depending on where we're at in the month, we have, I take all of our, I don't know, everyone's different, but I take all of our envelope money out once a month. Not every payday, I just did once a month. So if it was us and we were at the end of the pay period or we were at the end of the time and we had to go buy something for a potluck, I would go to the next week's grocery envelope. I would take it out of that envelope, go buy whatever I needed to buy for the potluck. But when next week's grocery money comes around, we would be short that amount of money. Yes. So that means next period, maybe instead of having steak and lobster, we're having hamburger because you have to make up the difference. Mm -hmm. you, you see what I'm saying? It's just an example. And I understand this because so many times through church or whatever functions we get invited to, we want to bring yummy stuff. I mean, stuff that we've baked and cooked and put a lot of pride into. But sometimes it's brownies because a brownie mix is a dollar. And it was the 10 in the end. We didn't have the money. So, you know celebrate that you ha even have a few dollars in an envelope to go buy a cake mix or a brownie mix and have that be your contribution. That's okay. I would frown upon the whole, like if you needed to take money out of the kids' school clothes fund or the kids' something else fund or whatever, I would try to stay away from that because you are right. You're robbing Peter to pay right. Paul. And, and if you good. keep doing that, that will get so... You'll get so wrapped up into what envelope you owe what because you've gone across the board so much that... It gets confusing. I would just stick with your food. Yeah. That's food a great envelope. question. Great, great question. So that's it, you guys. We've answered questions, and um, I just thank you for submitting them. If you have a question, leave one down below, and we'll try our best to answer them in another Deck Again Sunday. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and all that good stuff, and thumbs up. The more thumbs uppers, it defeats the haters. And we love that because we get some thumbs down, unfortunately. Won't, won't. So anyway, that's it. Shameless plug. Done. I just have to say I appreciate that some people are, you know, they answer our questions for us. You know, someone will answer a question <laughs> and a couple of the viewers will kick in and they'll answer it for us. And I'm like, man, that's awesome. That is you guys awesome. are awesome. You we are. appreciate you guys so much. We love you. <laughs> and just for that, I will change my shirt next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye you guys. Have a great debt-free week.